Oh wow, Alex, look! Woo! Shit, that is amazing. Absolutely stunning. I think later we need to go into the town and get some eggs and bread, or shall we just get a sandwich and a ham and cheese? Hell no. Come on. Not just no, but <laughs> hell no. I, I'm I, done with ham and cheese. I haven't had the ham and cheese uh, in 24 hours. No. 12 hours actually. Yeah. 12 hours. And I think you had the ham and cheese even later. I think. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't remind me. So, um, Villa de Augustura, whatever, I'm really saying it wrong, means the narrow, and it comes from this river. Um, and basically, not far after this comes our conspiracy theory. Indeed. Uh, yeah. And then we're about to jump into this river right here. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's jump. let's let's, uh, let's go first. We'll jump and then we'll go and hop in the car and go back along to our cabin. Well, we haven't seen the cabin yet. Okay. Well, maybe we'll wait to jump. Okay. See you later. Cabin in the woods. Literally. Dun, 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 dun. And the fireplace, awesome. Nice. Maybe it wants you to move the t chair. Ah, uh, but I don't. No. Oh, yeah. What's it called? Mate. Mate. Yeah. Huh? And you're drinking this is it? This the local drink. Ah, okay. And then some good view. Wonderful view. Wow. Okay. We have found roundabout where this house is, but everything seems to be locked up and... Uh, and there's fences everywhere. So tomorrow we're gonna hike down there and see w if we can't get in. But oh, we will. Yeah? Okay. But uh, we saw the Inalco view. Yeah, but there's no direct entrance, but we're gonna find one on foot. Okay. 
so keep tuned <laughs> so going to the Inalco house was uh, impossible there was fences and blah, 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 blah because it got sold recently but Terry um, she organized us a boat to go look at the Inalco house from the shore it looks like the Untersberg uh, but uh, okay with the uh, waves in between that is phenomenal so this is uh, Hitler's apparent home um, but uh, it's under construction because it was sold um, but uh, it is so amazing and the town we're going to next is uh, Bariloche and there they have this uh, stone tower and this was built just to um, to check out the sea whether it's okay and then they, they can go come by boat otherwise they they would have to wait uh, until the water was clear but uh, yeah anything else you have to say I think it's awesome as heck yeah okay then yeah let's continue the native Argentinians uh, used to be called Mapuche and they spoke a, a language called Mapusungun Mapusungun <laughs> and um, they had this word Inalco which means next water hmm. this path is called the last hope And I said no. Why? Because it's freezing cold water. Yeah. You're no fun. You don't want to do anything fun. There he is drunk. That's the bridge. That connects one to the other. <laughs> we still spoke to the guys for a pretty long time and had a beer, uh, which led to another beer and so on. So I want go into detail now I'll do it tomorrow and then the video will be done so I spoke to those guys and some others and here's my verdict Adolf Hitler probably did not move to Argentina during that time the Argentinian government wanted lots of Europeans to come settle in Patagonia and so they did and the house that we saw uh, was built in 1945 uh, by a German and yeah and it was uh, extremely secluded before this bridge was built so I don't know maybe yes maybe not but uh, it will always be a maybe. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to see. Um, the guys, uh, they made uh, some money out of us and they will uh, keep on making money. Um, and I think that's good. And the most awesome thing is the nature here. The nature is phenomenal. So I would recommend coming down here um, yeah it's fantastic and also come down here for a week two weeks uh, one or two days does not cut it so Hitler's apparent house done <laughs>